Hey everyone, it's Alana. I'm sorry about the lighting quality. Um, I'm doing something super important today. I am packing for our Japan trip that is tonight, and I'm gonna show you how the two of us pack light. So this is everything that we are bringing, and it probably looks like a ton of stuff, but it's actually not much at all. And I'm gonna show you how we accomplish this. So this right here is the suitcase that we are bringing for two people, and we're not going to um, check it onto the plane, we're going to use it as a carry-on item. And it's actually very, very small. So here is my arm. Yeah, it's not very big at all. Um, it's perfect for two people. So the first thing I'm going to show you guys is packing clothes, and that is Probably the biggest thing that hinders us from packing lightly is we overpack on clothes uh, because we have this fantasy of like having all these really cool photos of ourselves at all these places and having like a different outfit in every photo. Let's be realistic on vacation. We don't have time for that. We need to wear something that's comfortable, that's versatile. And so what I do is I pack two to three outfits and so does my husband. That might sound really kind of sad to you guys, but in reality, that's all you really need. And I personally don't mind wearing the same outfit twice. If you just interchange your tops and bottoms while you're there, it's perfect. And let's face it, if you're going on vacation and you're visiting somewhere, you're probably gonna buy new clothes anyways. So this right here is all the clothes I'm bringing. And I actually feel like I'm bringing way too many clothes. I basically have three skirts and three, four shirts. Another reason why it's a good idea to pack light is because when you are traveling, it's actually very easy to get your clothes washed. If you're staying at a hotel, they probably have coin laundry. They can also have services where they can wash your clothes for free or a small charge or dry cleaning. And if you're staying at an Airbnb like me, they usually have a washing machine at most uh, Tokyo apartments or they have coin laundry in the building, so that is perfect. My husband is also doing the same thing as me, um, except he is even better at packing light. So he has three shirts and two bottoms. So he's going to be wearing this on the plane, which means he really only needs to pack two shirts. and one extra bottom. You might be wondering about socks and underwear. Socks and underwear, we also only bring about three pairs of because socks and underwear are so easy to wash. You can hand wash them in a sink or the tub or the shower. You can throw them into the laundry with your other stuff. You can hang dry them overnight. Socks and underwear are so easy to clean and so I never bring a ton of them. And if you feel like you don't have enough, you can always buy more wherever you are. So now for shoes. Shoes is really hard for some people, but basically my husband and I are only bringing one pair of shoes each, which we are wearing on the plane. And we're only packing the most comfortable shoes for walking in because we are going to be walking all over the place and I do not care if my footwear is cute or not. Also I do plan on buying a pair of shoes if when I'm there if I can find any that fit and so I don't want to hassle with bringing you know four pieces of shoes back. <sighs> Cat, you don't fit on the table. So the next thing I'm gonna talk about is like liquids. And this is hard because you can't bring more than three ounces on an airplane and it's gotta be in a visible bag so you can show TSA what's going on up in there. So what I'm doing is I'm bringing this case that I got from Claire's and as you can see it's about, I don't know, the size of my face and I am being very minimal here with what I'm packing. So basically, for body wash and face wash, face, face wash, small bottle of 
Dr. Bronner's, which I got in the travel section at Target. And Dr. Bronner's is really cool because it's vegan, it's fair trade, it's all this kind of stuff. Um, it actually, if you really, really need to, you can use it as toothpaste and um, shampoo. So if you guys are like me where you really, really don't want to bring a lot of stuff, you can just use this. Also keep in mind, wherever you're going, they're gonna have toothpaste and stuff, so you don't need to bring a ton of stuff. One small tube of toothpaste, which this will probably, hopefully last me the whole time. My husband is bringing his own toothpaste. I am bringing my um, daily face moisturizer slash sunscreen slash tint. Three tubes of lipstick because I do wear lipstick on a daily basis. I've got Dose of Colors, which is my favorite, and Jeffree Star. I am bringing some Band-Aids, just in case, you never know. A little pack of um, ear swap thingies. And that is it for liquids. And I'm just gonna actually pop this in the front of the suitcase so that when we get to TSA and they're like, take out your liquids, let me see! you can just easily take it out. And of course, we're putting our toothbrushes in there right before we go, because I always like to brush my teeth before I go anywhere. Um, and the last thing that we are packing is deodorant. This is my um, stick of deodorant, and my husband will pack his own deodorant. So now I'm gonna talk about some really random crap we're bringing that you really do not need to bring, um, especially if you're trying to pack super, super light, but, we are going back to Disney. We're gonna to go to Disney Sea this time, and we are packing our ears, and my husband is packing his cute Mickey ears, so that, luckily, it's pretty small and can fit in the suitcase really, really well. We are also bringing, because, to be honest, we're a little bit afraid of how cold it's gonna get. I know it's been saying, like, 76 72 when i'm looking at uh the weather reports but that for us is like really really cold so we are bringing two lightweight beanies that's his and this is mine has kitty ears on it just in case it gets really cold um or we just feel chilled or for sitting outside somewhere for a long time um those are really lightweight and easy to pack so I'm also bringing my eye mask. This is my Pusheen eye mask because both of us cannot sleep with any kind of light. I'm also packing in my um, backpack, which is like my purse, also a carry-on or personal item, whatever the heck the plane wants to call it. I'm packing this little towel uh, because in Japan, in the public restrooms, they don't have like towels or the hand dryers so you want to bring like a cute little towel to be able to dry your hands off with also if at any time when i'm on the plane and i feel like i'm really like greasy or something i can go wash my face with this in the bathroom i'm also bringing um earplugs which is in this little case so now we're on to another hard thing for women to cut down on which is accessories Please keep in mind that when you are going on vacation and you're traveling somewhere, you're probably going to end up buying a lot of accessories. And for example, I'm going to Japan, which for me is like accessory heaven. So I'm only bringing a few things that I absolutely, totally need. I am actually only bringing one pair of earrings, which are these, which are so cute. And yeah, I love these pair of earrings. I, of course, am bringing my hairbrush. I am only bringing two, oh, three, one, two, and three necklaces slash chokers. And to go with my hairbrush, I am bringing this hair tie with a pom-pom on it that is so cute, and I just wrap it around the handle part. One regular pink hair tie, hair tie that already is like a bow. Two bobby pins which I am just going to stick like this. It's a cute clip that I got from Paris Kids in Harajuku. This cute, it's like a bobby pin that I also got from Ligo in Harajuku. Two more rubber bands. These are just like cute rubber bands and they have 
parts on them. This, this bow uh, for my hair. So the very last thing uh, we're gonna talk about packing is electronics. Electronics is, for me, the hardest to get down because I wanna have so many options for taking photographs or filming and charging. It's really important to me, so I would much rather have more electronic space than I would like to have clothing space, but I'm still doing this pretty light. So the first thing we're bringing is my husband's um, Instax, it's super cute. Um, I bought this for him for his birthday, which was almost a year ago, and he has taken two photos with it, so I am actually making him pack this, and I'll probably use it more than he will. The second thing I am bringing is my GoPro. It's only the first generation, and I actually don't really like to use this, um, except for underwater, but I like to have it as backup, or if I like walk out and I go, oh my gosh, I forgot my this, or I all of a sudden run out of space on my phone or my camera, this is really good backup to have. It's really, really uh, light, and yeah, it takes really cool photos too, even though it's only like the first generation. I'm also bringing the camera that I am filming on, and I'm bringing the small tripod that I am using to record this. Um, and of course, it's charger. The next thing we are both bringing are our iPhones. We both have an iPhone, and we are both bringing our chargers for the iPhones, because you don't want to lose that on your phone. These are battery chargers, basically, they're power banks, you charge them up before you go, and then when your phone is dying or your pocket Wi-Fi is dying, you can plug this in and charge it on the way. Next thing I am bringing, backup memory card, because the one I have in my camera right now is 64 um, gigabytes, but I am probably going to exhaust that really fast. So the next and last charging electronic device I'm bringing is my 3DS and it's charger and I'm only bringing one game which is Pokemon Moon. So including the electronics, this is our suitcase right now and as you can see it actually has a lot of space in it. I'm going to take the electronics out because I actually, like I said, prefer those to be in my carry-on item, except for that one that's going to stay in there. And now all I'm going to do right now is just kind of flatten this out. As you can see, there's quite a bit of room in here. So now I know what you guys are thinking. You're thinking, um, where are you going to put all the crap that you're about to buy because that suitcase ain't going to fit nothing. Let me show you what we do. So what I have for all the stuff we're gonna bring back is I have an empty duffel bag. And it's actually really, really huge. It's really, really big. It's really long. Um, this is exactly what we did last time we went, is we packed the duffel bag when it was completely empty. And here we go. Fits perfectly. So what happens is when we come back, the suitcase will be full of the stuff we brought. The duffel bag will be full of the things that we bought while we're there. We will check the duffel bag onto the airplane, the suitcase back onto the airplane with us, and both of our backpacks back on the airplane with us. So as you can see guys, this is absolutely everything we're going to bring in our suitcase. We have all our clothes, we've got a camera, we've got all our hair accessories, we've got socks and underwear, we have the duffel bag all folded up of all the stuff that we're going to bring. And in here we have our liquids that they're going to make us take out and look at. And that is it! Isn't this awesome? Do not pack your jackets or your sweaters or whatever. In the suitcase take it on the airplane because a it saves space b they can be a blanket that you can roll it up and be a pillow so that is it guys that is everything so again we're taking one tiny suitcase for two people and one small carry-on backpack and another regular size carry-on backpack and that is it thank you guys so much for watching 
the video and I hope this inspires you to be able to pack lightly next time you go anywhere and please stay tuned because I'm going to be showing you guys vlogs and tons of videos around Japan and I cannot wait. Thank you again for watching. Have a beautiful day.